<clears throat> All right, let's go. We're doing a recap. I want everyone to tell me the coordinates of A, B, and C in the chat, please. Let me know. Let's go. Oh, happy birthday, Tando, for yesterday. Tando says it was his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday. All right, guys, coordinates for A, B, and C in the chat for me, please. Good, I'm seeing a lot of answers for A. Guys, remember, you need to remember the nomenclature or how we write things. Do not forget, when we write A, we always put the A first. Well done, and Danae, for remembering. We put the A, then open brackets, negative five, semicolon, two, close brackets. Oh, my goodness. Um, teacher Kat, would you like to speak to Riolet too quick? If you've got a chance. Okay. Uche, do not forget to tell me which coordinate you're putting down. Guys, remember to include the A in the front if you're going to give me the coordinates for A. Otherwise, I don't know which coordinate you guys are giving me. Okay. If I'm doing the coordinate for B, I need to write B and then open brackets. Okay. And then write what the coordinate for B is. Well done, Uche. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you, Sana. I can't, I can't tell Gala who top five or top six who got the highest is. All it tells me is everyone who got 100%. All I know is the mark. Okay. Well done, everyone. B is zero and eight. Okay. And coordinates for C. Let me see. Thank you, guys. All right, C, let's look at the coordinates for C. Yeah. C, four and two. That's what you guys are telling me in the chat. And I believe you guys, I believe you guys. Well done, amazing stuff. What kind of uh, shape do I have? If I connect all of these things, what kind of shape am I going to have, guys? Good, and today it's a triangle. Uh, no, Mahlubi, I'm not too sure. We're still discussing it. I will let you know on Wednesday. Okay. It might not be equilateral, Sana. It's it's not quite equilateral. Okay, it's not equilateral because the the sides are not a hundred percent equal. Okay, it's a scalene triangle. It's not an isosceles one. It's a scalene triangle, yes, Sintene. No, Luandile, it's not. Luandre, not Luandile. Okay. All right, guys, give me the coordinates for D, E, and F. Go for it. Coordinates for D, E, and F. Thank you. Tahila skipped D completely and she went straight to E. So I'll, I'll skip D as well and go straight to E. Three and negative eight. Somebody else give me the coordinates for D. <laughs> Thank you, Danae. And Hermione. Hermione is also giving me the coordinates for D, but your Y coordinate is mm, a little off. I think Danae's one is more right. <laughs> That's okay, Tahila. Three and negative two. I need coordinates for F, please, guys. Carabo, you've switched your Y and your X around. Okay, be careful. X coordinate first and then Y coordinate. Ilanda, check for your positives and your negatives. Luandre, I always say Luandre instead of Luandre. I'm sorry. Dene, your F is on exactly on point. Kutle Konke, well done, remember? Round brackets, not square brackets. Well done, Kerry. Your you've swapped your X and your Y around. Well done, Nontando. And Saneli, so excellent stuff, guys. Sepang, do you have a question, my sweetie? No. 
Okay, that's okay, so you need, okay. If you can just mute back for me. All right. Okay, Mutabang, I know that's not supposed to be 30. I think it's three, the third bracket, but absolutely, well done. All right, are we comfortable with this? What kind of, what kind of shape do I have here? What kind of shape do I have here? Yes, Sana, excellent. It's a right angled triangle, well done. How do we know that it's right angled? Because these two, if you guys notice, my X coordinates for D and E are the same. What does that mean about all the coordinates on this line? What is the X value for all the coordinates over here going to be? Thank you, Sana. That's correct. All the X coordinates are going to be three, right? And because my drawing isn't so great today, sheesh. Okay. What are all my Y coordinates along this line going to be? Can you guys tell me in the chat? It's not going to be 90, trust me. My Y coordinates are going to be, have a look at the Y coordinates that are the same. Well done, Yonela. 100% on point. Here's negative eight and negative eight. So all my Y coordinates along that line are going to be negative eight. But I know we've all had load shedding, my sweetie, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. That's how we know that it's a right angle triangle. There are two lines that all have the same X coordinates. These ones all have the same Y coordinates. All right, thumbs up, thumbs down. How are we feeling about this? Okay, because we need to move on to something a little bit more, mm, something a bit more challenging. Excellent, excellent. Sunny Lisa, that's amazing. Sunny Lisa got code five. That's something like in the 70s, hey? Well done, Sunny Lisa. Amazing stuff. All right, guys. Oh, we are back here again. Patiswa, I'm going to ask you to watch the video that we did last week, Wednesday, okay? Because it helps us understand this all the way since Monday. I know Tehila's like, oi, oi, oi. I know. Guys, it's not that scary, I promise. It's not that scary. Inam, do we have a question, my sweetie? Yes. Yes, Inam, how can I help? Um, I do not understand because I'm still new here. Okay, all right. So I'm going to show you how we find the coordinates, okay? So everyone, let's help Inam out in the chat, guys. If we have two coordinates, which one do we read? In what order do we read them? We always read them. What comes first? X, good guys, the X value. And then after the X value, we have the Y value. Okay, and we write them in this order, Inam. Okay, and you'll notice that this line over here, this is my X line. And this line over here, this is my Y line. Okay. So now if I want to read the coordinates for A, I'm going to take this dot and I'm going to make like little lines until you get to the X line and we'll find that the X line sits at minus five. That's why we all wrote minus five over here. Okay. And if I take this dot all the way to my Y line, I find that my Y line sits at two. And that's why we all wrote two over here. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Unfortunately, I cannot go back to this because we did it the whole of last week, Monday and Wednesday. So if you're a bit lost, I would encourage you to go onto our website and watch the episode, um, I'm calling them episodes again, lesson one and lesson two that we did last week. And it will help you understand everything because we did like tons and tons of um, examples on this. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right, guys, we're going to do translations today. Can anybody tell me what is a translation? What is a translation, guys? Let me know. Tahila, hand up. Hand up, my sweetie. Karabu, you cannot use the word in the definition. <laughs> you can't say a translation is to translate. 
We cannot use the word in the definition. Tato, what is a translation? A translation is the way that a shape is moved. That's what Excellent. I understand. Excellent. You are 100% correct. It's a move. It's basically a move. So we're going to move something. And when we move these things, we're either going to move them left or right, or we're going to move them up or down. Okay. Now, I want you guys to remember from when we were doing integers, okay? If I move something to the right, then I'm going to add, this is from my integer line. And if I move something to the left, I'm going to minus, I'm going to subtract, okay? Same thing, if I move something down, I'm going to minus. And if I move something up, I'm going to plus. And Inam, if you're stuck on integers, we have many videos about of when we did integers. Go have a look on the website. Yes, it is, Jaden. It's past, it's past lessons. Okay. So that's the kind of rule we're going to be using here. Okay. It is kind of like a battery. Okay. Now, I want you guys to give me the coordinates for A, please. And this, not this A, this is A prime because it has a little apostrophe. We're not looking for A prime. We're looking for A. A is down here. Please give me the coordinates for A, please. In the chat, let's go. A. I'll wait. Sean Ray, a whole coordinate, please, not just one. Danae, you're doing the wrong one, the one at the bottom here. Thank you, Kerry. That's the correct one. That's the one I'm looking for. Yonela. Yonela, you're correct. You've just missed your semicolon. So now be careful. No, actually. Yeah, it's I hope I'm reading this correctly. Guys, I can't read my own my own graph. Oh no, I see it. I see it. Okay, yes. So the coordinates here are negative two and negative three. Okay, excellent. Now I want you guys to give me the coordinates for A prime, A prime. Okay, so for this point over here, A prime. Remember to use round brackets. Thank you, teacher cat. Well done, Antone. Tahila just says A. I'm not sure what to do with just A. Okay, that's fine, Tebeka. That's okay. Excellent. Kerry, remember, X before Y. Okay, well done, guys. So A prime is four and three. Okay, well done, Kidra and Maureen and Mutebang. You guys are doing great. Okay. Teacher Kat, can you help out Patiswa? She's having trouble hearing me. All right. Sure, thank you. All right, guys. So now here's what we're going to do. We're going to be learning the rule. Okay. And our rule always starts with X and Y. And our X and Y is actually our A values. So our X is negative two and our Y is negative three. Now, what I want to do is I want to see how many ways I need to move right or left and up and down to get from A to A prime, okay? Now, in order for me, and tell me in the chat, guys, in order for me to get from A to A prime, I'm gonna start moving left or right first because that's my X value. Do I need to move left or right to get closer to A prime? I'm getting different answers in the chat here. Okay, I'm getting quite a lot of lefts. Okay. That's okay, Karabot's gonna make sense in just a little bit. Okay, for those of you who say left, if I move left, I'm gonna go that way. Am I getting closer to A prime or am I moving away from A prime? Yes, and can you so you're gonna have to write this down. I'm moving away from A prime. So I need to move closer to it 
Okay. So in order for me to move closer, I'm going to have to move to the right-hand side. Okay. I hope that makes sense, guys. I have to move right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to count how many times I need to move to the right so that I'm underneath, right underneath A prime. Okay. So I'm going to go, mm, I want to be right underneath A prime. You guys are going to count along with me. Let's count. We're going to move one, two, three, four, five six okay we're going to move six times so we've moved from x and in order for us to get from x which is minus two to four we need to take x and we need to plus six okay because we're moving to the right hand side and when we move to the right we plus now in order to get from this point over here this point over here to A prime, do I need to move up or do I need to move down? Guys, I'm gonna explain again, don't worry. Do I need to move up or down, guys? You could use the inverse operation in Diné, but it's going to get a little tricky, okay? Because then you have to set up equations, okay? We're going to move up. Let's count how many times we're gonna to have to move up. We're gonna to have to move one, two, three, four, five, Six times we're moving up. So in order for us to get from negative three to three, I have to take my Y value and plus six. Okay. I'm going to do that again. Am I buffering? Um, Sana, I think it might be on your side because I'm fine. Teacher Courtney, do you see me fine? Yeah, you're because fine on my side as well. Yeah, my internet connection, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, I don't think. The rain has subsided on my side. Thanks, Jaden. Okay, thanks, guys. It is quite simple, Yonela, if you think about it. Right, let's try that again. Let's do it again, though. Just, just to make sure that you guys are with me. Good, Rwande, you've got it. Okay, so I want to get from A, so I want to start here. Eh, look at what I'm doing. I want to start here. I'm starting here and I want to end here. Okay. Now, in order for me to get there, I have to move left or right first. So I'm going to move from here. I'm going to move however many times to the right for this thing to be right underneath, for my move to be right underneath A prime. So we're going to count. How many times do I need to move to the right? Let's count one. Two, three, four, five, six times to the right. So my rule is going to say I moved from X, Y all the way to, now in order for me to get to A prime, I need to add six to X, six plus, X plus six. Now, how many times do I need to move up to get to A prime? I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, Six times, be careful, Sana, six times. Okay, so my Y has moved up, Y plus six, close brackets. Okay, excellent. Thumbs up, thumbs down. How are we doing? Okay. Karabo says, kind of good. We're going to do another example. Don't worry, Karabo. <laughs> Try, yeah, we are doing, we are doing transformation. Somebody's like, ma'am, every time you say A prime, it reminds me of transformers. And today we are doing transformation. So, you know, at least it'll help you remember. Patisa says, thumbs middle. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Okay. Let's try this with B and B prime. Okay, now give me the coordinates for B, guys. And Inam, we're gonna, you and I are gonna do this one together. Okay, I want to start with my X coordinates. So I'm going to look at B and I'm gonna take this B, this dot here, and I'm gonna take it all the way to my X coordinate. And it's gonna give me 10. So my X coordinate is going to be 10. And then I put a semicolon. And for my Y coordinate, I'm gonna go all the way to my Y line. And my Y coordinate is going to be nine. So I'm going to write nine 
and then I'm going to close brackets. Okay. With the conquer, this one over here, I'm going to switch colors. This one up top here, this is B. Okay. Then from there, I want to move from B to B prime. Give me the coordinates for B prime, guys. Prime is just that little, that little apostrophe. I call it prime or it's called prime. Okay. Now we need the coordinates for B prime, guys. I need to, I need to put B back. Excellent, guys. B prime is two and five. Good. Two, my X coordinate is two and my Y coordinate is five. Now, I need to get from B to B prime. I start here and I end here. Okay. Yes, Optimus prime. <laughs> okay. If I start here, if I want to get closer from B, if I want to get to closer to B prime and I need to move my X value first, do I need to move left or right, guys? Let me know. Do I move left or right? Bukle, I'm going to take your question just now. Danae, be careful. If I move right, I'm going to be going that way. And that's further away. Okay. So it needs to be left. Okay. So let's count how many times we need to move left to be just above B prime. Okay. We're going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We moved eight times. So guys, tell me what is my rule for B going to change to? What is my rule for B going to change to? It went from X and Y. And then because I moved to the left, what's going to happen to X? Am I going to minus or am I going to plus? When I move to the left, Yonela, what do I do? Thank you, Kushle Konke. I need to minus. Good. X minus eight. Okay. Well done, guys. Okay. And then to get from here to B prime, I need to move down four. And you guys are already saying it. Four. One, two, three, four. So what is my new co Y coordinate going to be? Am I going to add or minus? Am I going to plus or minus? Y plus or minus, guys? Excellent. Good, Yonela and Hermione. Well done. Y minus four. Okay. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Who's with me? Yes, Saneliso. It's eight units to the left, four units down. It's just that instead of saying left and down, we need to write plus or minus. And in this case, it's minus. Inam says they're still confused. Okay, we are going to split into breakout rooms now. Okay. And I want you guys, okay? I just need the chat to halt for just one second, guys. Stop for me for one second. Okay. If you understand everything that just went down and you are very confident with what we are doing, okay? When the breakout room comes up, I need you guys to not go into a breakout room. Stay here in this class. If you are still confused and you need someone to explain this a little bit more to you, I need you guys to click join now into that breakout room. On the other side, in that breakout room, somebody else is going to explain all of this again. If you are stuck. The rest of you guys who understand and are like, ma'am, I'm with you 100%. I got you. You stay here. Okay. Right. Now you guys can give me a thumbs up. Do you guys understand? Okay. Just join if you feel like you need to. You guys can join. OK, 
Okay. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna give it one more minute. Okay. Now, Uh, anybody else who feels like they want to join the other class, guys, you're more than happy to go. You're welcome to go. Yes, Pearl, you have a question, my sweetie. Ma'am, the room won't allow me to join. Hmm. I'm okay. On. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Co teacher Courtney's going to help you out just now, Pearl. Okay. Bonolo, what's up? Ma'am, I can't join too. Is it? Okay. Uh, teacher Courtney will help in just a bit. Okay. Takalani, are you having the same problem? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, I'm assuming everybody who has their hand up is having the same problem. Um, Please send a message you... in the chat and then I can assign them. Okay. Can you guys send a message to ma'am in the chat and she'll be able to help you guys? Okay. The rest of us guys, we're going to continue. Okay, we're not going to take a brain break yet. We're going to wait for everybody to come back. Teacher Courtney, I'll let you know when. All right, now we're going to do A and A prime. I'm going to highlight them quickly. Here's A, this is A. Give me the coordinates for A in the chat and give me the coordinates for A prime in the chat. Guys, you've got one minute, go. Sure, guys. Is anybody there? Guys, can I ask somebody to raise their hand for me? Yes, we are let you. Hi, Sanaliso. Yonela, can you unmute for me, my sweetie? Ma'am, um, I think the chat is still disabled. Is it? Yes. Ah, okay. All right. I'm seeing what the problem here is. Uh, teacher mm -hmm. Courtney, I think the chat has been disabled. I don't know how we can stop that from happening. Oh, Jaden just wrote something in the chat, though. I, I re-enabled it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks All right, for guys. letting us know. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, guys. Answers for A. Thank you, San Eliso. Um, Coordinates for A and A prime in the chat. Thank you. All right, guys, let's go. A is negative one and one. Excellent. All right, give me A prime. As soon as you've given me A, give me A prime, guys. Negative one and one. And A prime is four and four. All right. And then, guys, let me know. How do I get from A to A prime? Okay, tell me, I move this many steps to the right or this many steps to the left. Let me know. Okay, we can count quickly. Okay, we want to get from A to A prime. So we want to be right underneath A prime. We're going to start counting. One, two, three, four, five. So I've moved five to the right. Okay. Five to the right. So is that a plus five or a minus five, guys? Is that a plus five or a minus five? Excellent, Shoni. Well done. So my rule says we started at X and Y. And what did we do to X, guys? I need you to write this for me in the chat. Write X plus five, semicolon. Tell me what happens to Y. Give me in this format. What happens to y? What do I need to write in my space for y, guys? One, two, three. Be careful, Kutia Konke. How many did we move up? Okay, we moved five spaces, right? How many did we move up? Three, good. So give it to me as y plus three in the chat, guys. Do not forget. You need to give it to me as y 
plus three. Hermione, you are a superstar. I saw that. Well done. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that X plus five, semicolon, Y plus three. Well done. Remember, guys, it's still a coordinate. So we still need open brackets, X plus five, semicolon, Y plus three, close brackets. I need all of that, guys. I know, Jaden, they just come up, they pop up everywhere. My goodness. Okay, now here's the, here's the kicker, guys. Langle, we cannot write it in words. We are mathematicians. We need to write it in mathematical language. Okay. Now we're going to use the same rule and we're going to find B prime and C prime. And here's what I mean. Can you guys give me the coordinates for B, please? Give me the coordinates for B in the chat. <laughs> Somebody's like, who made math? Carabo, many people. B is negative three and negative four. Well done, Dene and Hermione and Yonela. Good. Negative three and negative four. Now, in order for us to find B prime, we are going to use the rule we just made. We're going to take X and add five. So what you're going to do is you're going to take, I'm gonna write it up here. You're gonna go, my X value is minus three. I'm going to add five to minus three. So I'm gonna go minus three plus five. How much is minus three plus five, guys? Minus three plus five. Need to do some quick mental math. Well done, Bouche. It's two. It's two, guys. It's not minus eight. We're plusing five. Okay. So if I had to plus five, I'd be moving to the right. Okay. Yeah. So now that is incorrect. When we're plusing, we're going that way. When we're minusing, we're going that way. So if I need to plus five, and I'm sitting here at minus three, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. I'm sitting right above two. Okay. So my new coordinate for B prime is going to be two. Okay. And then I need to take my Y value and my Y value is negative four. And I need to plus three. So negative four plus three. How much is negative four plus three, guys? Let me know. Negative four plus three. Thank you, Mrs. Cruz. Thank you, Nyonela. It's minus one. Right. So my new coordinate for y on B prime is going to be minus one. Okay. That means my B prime is sitting at the point two and minus one. Here it is. Let me remove this. B prime is sitting over here. I know, Kutlekonke, it's a bit confusing. We're gonna do it again. Okay. Okay. All right, Kutlekonke, do you see that in order for us to get from A, to get from, in order for us to get from A, to a prime, we had to take our x value and plus five, right? And to get from a to a prime, we had to take y and plus three, right? So we took the value for b, we took the coordinate for b, and we plused five. We took the x coordinate and we plused five, and we took the y coordinate and we plused three. Now, Gonke, tell me in the chat, what is the coordinates of C, the C down here? Give me the coordinates for C, please. What are the coordinates for C? No, your Nella, it was plus three. It was plus three. Remember, A is down here and A prime is up there. Okay, so we moved up. So it was plus three. Guys, give me the coordinates for C, please. What are the coordinates for C? Thank you, Sanaliso. Thank
Thank you, Janae. Good, it's two and negative five. So we've got two and negative five. So now this is my X coordinate. What I need to do to my X coordinate is plus five. So I need to take two and plus five. What is my new X coordinate? What is my coordinate for C prime going to be? Two plus five. How much is that going to give me, guys? Excellent, Sana. It will give me seven. Good. And then I need to take my Y value. That's minus five. And I need to add three. So what is minus five plus three, guys? Minus five plus three? Excellent, Pusha Konke. And that is why C prime is seven and minus two. Minus five plus three is minus two. Surely be careful, it's negative two. Okay, so our C prime is now at seven and minus two. There it is, there's C prime. Okay, do you see it now? We use the rule. Okay. Can I get a thumbs up? Thumbs down, thumbs up, thumbs down. How are we feeling about using the rule? Thanks, Sana. And Hermione and Pusha Konke. I'm glad I didn't lose you guys. Thanks, Maureen and Dimpo and Mutebang and Luanle. No, Mashubi, we're going to do another example. I know. Jaden, maths was never going to get easier. When your brain struggles, that's how it grows. That's how your brain grows. Okay, I'm going to remove all the A, Bs, and Cs because they're cluttering up here. Give me the coordinate, guys, for D. Give me the coordinate for D, please. So now you've got your signs mixed up. If that's okay, Bulela, you're gonna to have to watch the recording, my sweetie. Good. My coordinate for D is three and negative two. Okay. Guys, here's D prime over here. Give me the coordinates for D prime, please. What is the coordinates for D prime, guys? San Eliso says negative five and three. I agree. Anybody else? Coordinates for D prime? <laughs> Dene, I'm not sure what that means. Okay, negative five and three. Okay. Now, guys, tell me, what did I have to do to get from D? I'm starting here and I want to end here. What do I need to do to get from D to D prime? How many spaces am I moving either left or right or up or down? Let me know, guys. Kutle Konke says we're moving left. I wonder who else agrees. Mutabang also says left. Excellent. Okay. Shoni, if we move right, we're going to move away from it. Okay. And remember, guys, when we move left, do we plus or do we minus when we move left? We minus, good, we minus. Okay, so we're gonna count how many times we need to move that way. Count for me, guys. I better not get there. I need the, the answer in the chat before we get there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. So now guys, tell me, I'm moving from X, Y. What is my new X coordinate going to be? Tell me, it's X, plus something or X minus something. Tell me in the chat, what is it gonna be? It can't be five, Yonela. How many times did we move to the left? Yes, Kutre Konke, good. Well done, Kangwa. X minus eight, well done. Now we are over here. Do I need to move up or down to get to D prime? Am I moving up or down, guys? Dene says up. Yonela also says up. 
Jaden says up, excellent. How many times are we moving up, guys? Count for me. One, two, three, four, five times. Good. So now tell me, how am I going to write it? Y minus something or Y plus something. How am I going to write it? Are we minusing or are we plusing, guys? We're going up. So is it minus or plus? It's plus. Excellent. Sure. Look at what I just did. So this is Y plus five. It's plus. Excellent, Jaden. It's Y plus five. So my new rule is y, X minus eight, Y plus five. Guys, tell me in the chat. Well done, Yonella. That's exactly how we need to write it. Tell me in the chat a, a number out of five, out of 10, sorry. How confident are we feeling about moving and finding the rule? How many says 10? Okay. If we're going up, we plus. If we go down, we minus. Yes, Kuchekonke. And if we go to the right, we plus. And if we go to the left, we minus. Okay, we need to remember all of that. Okay, guys, we're going to pick this up again on Wednesday. That's fine, Courtney. I was actually just about to call you guys back. <laughs> okay, Hi, <guys>. that's you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I was literally, I, I timed it for uh, for 6.45. I missed it by a little bit, but that's okay. It is brain break time, guys. It is. All right. Everybody should be coming back now. Nah, Jaden's like rain break. <laughs> Bunolo says they understand now. Yay. Awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad, guys. Michelle is back as well. All right, everybody, everybody's back. Okay, now I need to know from those of you who are gone or who were gone and have now come back, can I get a thumbs up, thumbs down? How are we feeling about this? That's okay, San Eliso. How are we feeling? Ah, oh, see, this is exactly what I wanted to see, guys. Excellent, Bonolo. Well done, Justin. <laughs> Patisa's like the, the pressure is getting worse Patisa I actually read a really interesting book about learning maths the other day and they said when your brain struggles to figure out maths that's how your brain works like it starts to grow when you when you have trouble figuring out maths okay so the harder it gets and the more your brain struggles the the, the bigger your brain is getting so it's it's good it's good all right guys let's brain break <laughs>